because I know that it's not being forgotten. It's not put on the back shelf. It's not going to a cold case. America's Most Wanted shines the national spotlight on New Mexico once again, searching for answers in the deaths of 11 women buried on Albuquerque's West Mesa. Someone out there knows what happened. That's how America's Most Wanted feels about Albuquerque's West Mesa mystery. Hello, everyone. I'm Tim Maestas. For the second time this year, the Fox Crime Show focused on the 11 women found buried in the desert. The names of four of the victims are still unknown. News 13's Caitlin McCarthy is in the Newsplex with details. Caitlin. Tim, tonight's episode revealed new clues as to who those unknown women may be. The show's host, John Walsh, said one of the women is Hispanic and the other is an African-American teen. That means that nobody's forgetting about it. Dan Valdez certainly can't forget about finding the killer of his daughter, Michelle, her unborn child, and 10 other women. He's happy to see the case featured again on America's Most Wanted. Some crimes are so big, so massive, that it's hard to wrap your head around them. It's not being forgotten. It's not put on the back shelf. It's not going to a cold case. There is a new clue. America's Most Wanted revealed new information during tonight's show. Dental records for two of the four unidentified women have been released. Producer Jenna Naranjo says one of the victims is an African-American female, believed to be 16 or 17 years old. In some cases, dental records can make or break a case. That's how important they are. Important because a dentist can cross-reference their records with those released by investigators to see if there's a match. But there are four families out there who don't even know what happened to their loved one. And even for the families who do know what happened, waiting for answers is tough. There wasn't anything new. No new leads at this point, says Albuquerque Police Chief Ray Schultz. He sat down with the victim's families today. He did uh, feel confident that the APD would, would be able to crack this case. On top of that, tips come into America's most wanted nearly every day, which keeps Valdez hopeful. Just may just be that one little small tip that somebody came in from that now lives in Ohio that remembered uh, four or five years ago seeing or hearing something. And when I sat down with Dan Valdez today, he told me about his psychic his ex-wife contacted about this case. At this point, Albuquerque police are not planning to use the help of psychics in their investigation. Tim? Thank you, Caitlin. If you have any information, you can call Albuquerque police at 877-SOLV-APD.